In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a bar chart together with the data tables here. We're going to connect them nicely so that the data in here will eventually represent here nicely. So let's start look how to connect data tables with chart.js4. And this video will be quite interesting. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is to make sure we have everything ready, which is our boiler template. To get a boiler template, just go to chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support my Patreon page, check out my Patreon link here, which you can find as well in the description box. If you want to join my uh, Discord channel, I have it as well. All right, let's start to work on this. First thing what we need to do is we need to add up the data tables, JavaScript library and the CSS library. So what we're going to do here is when you go to data tables.net, Click here on download and we're going to get something like this, although I will skip the design for now. It's not important. You can see here we can select all these options depending on what you have. And we will need jQuery 3. This is a required item. So you have to select this one if you don't have jQuery. If you do have, then it's all right. Then you can skip that step. As I select options, you will see that this file here down is starting to change and update. For example here, jQuery, data tables, and we could select all kinds of features in here. I will just leave it for now, I'm not that interested in going too deep in this. All I want is to just grab the basic design and the JavaScript file to show you how it works. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to paste that in here. I'm going to move the style sheet, sheet up. You can see here it has a massive link because of all the additional features. And it's very interesting because it has a lot of things that is very useful for chart.js. So we have this here. If I save this right now, refresh, nothing happens. But as you can see, it takes some time to load because the files are quite heavy. So what we're going to do now is uh, in the downloads, let's go and grab an example to get some dummy data or exam example data. So I'm going to click on example and just say here, zero configuration. I'm going to leave it all in. All I want is these names here or some of them. So I'm going to scroll down here. You can see already, you can use here the chart object. So you're going to put it in here first to create that. So it will understand that we have all the features that we need. But of course, we still have no example. So we cannot reload this because there's no data table ID. So what I'm going to do, click here on HTML. You can see here, we have a table with the ID name of example, which will be matching with our data table object. So what I'm going to grab here is yes, some of them. You don't have, you don't need to get them all, but I'll just get a set of 10 or 20 pieces. That's more than enough. Grab all of this. Then I'm going to put it somewhere in here. I'll just put it here just below the chart. Then what I will do is just closing tags. There we are. If I save this refresh, you can see here now we get the design, which is a basic design, but beautiful to be honest. And then everything else here you can see here, it has already features. It has a, um, uh, what do you call this? These buttons here, for previous and next. And you can search here as well, for example, if I'm looking for Cedric, let's say Cedric, there we are. Beautiful, absolutely wonderful to have this option. So of course, what I want to do now is grab the name and grab, for example, the salary, this column here, and reflect it in here up. So how do we do this? Because right now we have this data here, which is static data. And I just want to extract the static data and put them in my chart.js item here. So to do this, what I'm going to do here is play around with some functionalities. The first function we have to create is a function to create an array with all the names with the matching salaries. So let's start to work on doing that. So I'm going to say your function, and this function will be called the extract uh, table data and in this function what I want to do is to create an array however what I need to do first is to make sure we're going to figure out which table I want to extract the data which of course is the ID name with the example that is exactly here you can see here table ID name example so I'm going to grab this ID name then we go down here and go to a constant I'm going to say here, I guess you can say here, the table equals, oh, sorry, not example, but table. And then I'm going to say here, document, 
dot get element by id which basically means go into the html document and search for the tag with an id name of example very straightforward once we did that what i want to do more is go into another level of table rows i want to go here and say constant data i guess data data rows should be more appropriate then i want to say in the table that we are in go and get the following get me all the tag name of this uh, let's go up here the t body and this is index zero because there's only one t body here but if there would be another t body maybe at the bottom or something like that then you have to be more specific or you have to be specific so you need to know how many table bodies you have or t body tags so what i'm going to say here very simple uh, get an element or get elements so it's a plural by tag name and what is a tag name in this case well the tag name is the t body so what i want to do now is just show you with the console what we've got so far then of course i want to make sure we load this function here afterwards so if i save that refresh open up the developer tab you can see here we get now the t body and it gives us a lot of information what I want to go now, because this is basically the parent element, I want to go into the child, which is the next level. In this case, it is a table row. This is the child of the parent, and the parent, of course, is our T body. So let's start to go a little bit deeper. To go deeper, I'm going to say here, first of all, let's say index zero, because we only have one table body that I want to extract. This is the specific one with all the information you have as you can see here so now so that's in the next level will be going deeper to go deeper what I need here now is to say again get elements by tag name and in this case the tag name is the table row so we're going to get every table row in here let's save that refresh uh, all right interesting we're going to get some errors here by uh, get elements by tag name with capital N. Make sure you spell it correctly and with the proper capitalized letters. As you do that, you can see here now we're going deeper and we get all this information here. So what I want to do now is get specifically the data here or how can we get all of this information. Let's see here if I can find it, the text content. But probably we'll get a lot of information of all of these columns. So if I look here, uh, the T, do we see here, text content, all right, it shows us none, and pro or it shows here, if I hover over, you will see here, uh, let's see if I can find it, all right, I'm not able to show it, but you will see all the information if you hover over here, but it's just being outside of the screen, all right, so I cannot solve that for now, so to show you this, what I'm going to do here is, Let's do here an index zero. See if we can get it then. We get the odds, all right. And then as you can see here, there we are. If I get this individual one, we get all this information. It's all wonderful, but I only want the name and the salary. So what I'm going to do now is just I remove that because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use now a, a new option here is well, first of all, I'm going to make sure we want to create an array or an object where we have the name and the salary in that object. So I'm going to say this will be my data array, which will be blank. And I'm going to use now the data rows. And I'm going to say here for, and then I'm going to say a constant row. So for every row of our constant data row. And remember, we had 10 rows, if I'm not mistaken or something like that uh, for our data rows and then what I want to do here is extract the name and extract the salary so I'm going to say constant name will be equal to make sure you spell it correctly name will be equal to the row dot cells and a row is just basically the individual one it's almost like a um, map uh, the map method 
So we're going to say here, then we're going to say here, which cell do I want? Remember, this is cell index, or basically the cell here, that's index zero. So I want to have this specific cell, and then we say a dot text content. Extract the content of this. If I do this, what I want to do now, of course, is say in the data array dot push. Then what I will do here, I'll make it an object, and just say here the name object will have the value of name. Put that in there. And once I did this, what I want to do here, of course, is say return this data object, sending it over, and then we should be able to get this as well. So let's uh, check here and see if we can extract this. And just say here, the data array, show me what value we have. All right, a uh, data array is not defined. All right, of course, probably I need to see how we can extract that one after. But let me just grab the console log for this. Let's see if we can grab it. All right, we're getting now 10 rows or, or 10 items in here. And the, in the object, the name, and you can see here the matching name in here. So what I want to do next is, of course, the salary. So we constant salary equals. And then we're going to just do the same logic, but now the salaries is on which index? Name is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five. So this is number five. So that's index number five. So I'm going to grab that. What we could do here is say here salary and then here uh, salary. If I save this, we probably need to do some tiny adjustment. And the reason why is you can see here we get this, and then we get here the salary, but the salary is now not a number, it is a string. So what I want to do is I want to remove the dollar sign and probably this comma here. So it will be recognized as a number, so charges can easily recognize that and insert it in the data. So to do this, what I'm going to do here, I do some trimming of the values. So what I'm going to say here, dot replace. So if ever we find a few items, which is the dollar sign, if ever I find a dollar sign, please replace the dollar sign with nothing. So a double or just a quotation, no space in there. If you put a space in there, it will be replaced with a space or anything else. So I'm going to say here, let's save that, refresh. If I do this now, we should have now remove the dollar sign all right so the next thing will be of course dot replace and then we're going to replace the single comma to do this i need to use here the slash and then comma slash if you don't do that it might see it as another command in javascript so make sure you do that and there's a g comma so it will understand this is the command to focus specifically for a comma within the string and replace that with nothing or a blank. If I save that, refresh, we should have now numbers. There we are. So we have nice numbers here. All right, so what we want to do now is make sure that this value is eventually sent to our chart.js here. But as you can see here, this has two parts. It has names and the salary so i need to split them separately we could do it in a separate array as well but i thought let's split them again because you might have an object like this with a lot of data so what i'm going to do here now is create a new function that will be nested or i will nest this function with another function where i will say this function will be this data and split it split or split them out, separate the data. All right, so I'm going to grab all of this, and then we're going to nest it within this functionality. So once we have this, I have this returned here. I guess that was the, I was ready. I'm following my notes, and I see this is of course far too fast. So that's why if I do now console log of the data array within that function, we should get the following. So I'm going to grab this and load this specific item and see what we get. 
All right, the data rate is not defined. Uh, hold on. And of course, my bad. So we're trying to get this, and we have this return. We're loading this part, but we're probably not triggering this. So what I need to do is, I need to get this working. So I'm going to say here, the constant, and then we're going to say here, the extracted. Extracted data equals this functionality then I expect a nice response here from the data we just get and apparently not all right interesting my bad I'm not paying attention so what was the issue I'm trying to grab this of course this is within this function but it will return this data array but this function is being triggered here and it has this item so basically this function is equal to my data array value whatever comes out but of course i gave it the name of extracted data so if i put in this here we should have now the expected response all right so now we have this here and it took a while what we want to do now is split this again you might say why did we why don't we did it before because usually you have like an object here with a lot of data so i want to show you now how do we extract them all together so let's start to work on this so what I'm going to say here, to split this, split the data, I'm going to say a constant names array. Very simple. And then I'm going to say you extracted data. And then we're going to do a dot map. Very simple. Basically here the map method. We're going to say item. And then we're going to say here, for every item we have, that name, we will uh, return that. We will, this name array will now have all the names only specifically so we could test it after i'm going to do here for the salaries and say here salary make sure that this is spelled like like how we did it here or in the object itself but the plural is salaries spelled slightly different so once we did this again we have to say here to return we can say here the names will be names array and the salary so i'm going to show them both will be the salaries array so once we have this we have this extracted data table split we should have here some response let's double check here uh extract data is not defined extract data extracted data if I'm not mistaken there we are so let's do now a console log and see when we do this function what do we get there we are now we've extracted everything we get the names and we get the salaries we have these two arrays which is absolutely phenomenal so now what we can do is and we can even do it here if i would say here dot names or yeah let's see here how can we get the names we can probably even get this names array here and make sure we have our functionality running we should get the names uh all right all right same logic here i am just getting confused extremely so what i'm going to do here constant basically what we did here we're going to do here same we're going to split this we're going to give it a uh, proper name let's 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 call it our bar data if i do this i should get here this if i'm not mistaken there we are so we're getting everything here so since this is the function that creates the array I can now break it down by saying here bar data dot names and then we get here all the names and we can say here the same with the salaries with that exact value there you are so now let's put in this data in there so I'm going to grab that and we can say here we have the bar names if I save that refresh you can see here it starts to look nicely and it works then we can grab here and say here for the data 
we can do here the bar salaries save that refresh there we are and now we get the values being shown nicely as well and that's basically it there's a lot more and we'll cover it in another video